In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up a Skyron laser to work with a Microscribe digitizer. We're going to be using a Microscribe 6 MLX for the demonstration. Uh, 6 uh, for, is for the 6th axis, which is required in order to have free motion of the laser. Over the course of the video, I'll show you how to attach the laser and then how to align it so that it can be properly honed. The Skyron laser comes in a sturdy travel case. You open it with two latches, one on each side, and inside you will find several components. First of all, it's going to be shipped with a lens cleaner, a couple of uh, certificates, an installation CD, and then the laser and its components. Included in the components are going to be a calibration uh, base, which is paired with a calibration sphere, and that's adjusted so. Put those together, and we will use those later to actually uh, calibrate the uh, device. We'll, we'll do that in a separate video. There are going to be two dongles. One is for the laser itself. The other is for the scan tools software. There are some attachment clips. These are used to trace the uh, wires uh, around the outside of the device that feed the laser. I'm actually going to show you an alternative method for doing that so you don't have to use uh, you know, the clips and, and mar the surface of your device. There is a very small washer. This is important for the Microscribe 6MLX. Um, it's a, a, a spacer for uh, placing the Skyron laser at the proper distance on the stylus. There will be two extension uh, cords for the firewire connection. One is a firewire 800 style, the other is a firewire 400 uh, style. Uh, whichever one you use will be dependent on the adapter card that you've chosen. There is a small Allen wrench which is used for locking down the um, Skyron. And then the Skyron itself. Be very careful pulling this out because you do not want to put your uh, fingers on the mirror. The cleaning pad is supplied uh, so that you can uh, uh, clean that if it becomes necessary. I'm going to go ahead and set the case aside and rearrange so they can get down to the process of putting the Skyron on your microscribe. The first step for mounting the Skyron laser to your microscribe is to take the spacer and place that on the microscribe stylus. We have to do that in this case because it is a microscribe 6MLX. For a microscribe 6G2LX, you would not need the spacer. The stylus then is inserted into the shaft that's through the, the Skyron laser. We want to make sure that the um, stylus is all the way uh, pressed against the spacer, which is pressed against the back side of the laser. Now another thing you want to do is uh, uh, notice this white stripe that is on the stylus. Let's rotate that until it's over the edge of this mounting screw. There are two mounting screws that we're going to be tightening. For now, uh, make this alignment and then just snug this particular screw down a little bit, just enough to kind of hold the, the uh, laser in place. Then we're going to place that up in the Microscribe home position. Uh, the probe goes into the, uh, the stylus cup and we'll leave that uh, you know, set there so we can make, make the next adjustment. I'm going to move in closer so that you can see that in more detail. 
To make the required orientation adjustment, I need the microscribe in its own position, and I'm going to gently pull the Skyron laser back so this edge right down here comes in contact with the shoulder of the microscribe. That creates a reproducible foam position. Now then if you look up here where those two marks are, you see that the, the mark on the stylus that we adjusted a moment ago almost matches the one that is on the uh, other side of the stylus. So what we want to do is make sure that those two lines line up. To accomplish this, now that we have the laser setting up here, we're going to undo that screw slightly. Be careful not to let the Skyron drop. I want to make sure it stays up against the edge and then very gently rotate those two lines until they meet. Now remember again, I'm keeping the uh, Skyron against the base here. I'm making sure that it stays up against the spacer and then I'm making sure that these two lines align. And given that, I can go ahead and snug this top screw down a little bit. And then I can pull the whole assembly down and make adjustment of both of the screws a little bit more conveniently. Now with the Skyron sitting more conveniently, I can come back and snug the second screw down. These do not have to be very tight. Uh, just a good snugging. We don't want to damage uh, the stylus below. And they, they're a, a friction coupling, so it doesn't take a whole lot of strength to keep them in place. With the arm and Skyron back in the home position, the next step is to run the cabling around the device. The Skyron comes with uh, these clips that you can use to uh, attach to the arm itself and run the wires through. But if you're going to be using your Skyron on a variety of arms, um, or you don't want to uh, semi-permanently affix these hooks to the arms, there are alternatives. And one that I use is to take Velcro strips that have you know, hooks on one side and the fuzz on the other to hold the wire in place. So what I do is I'll take the wires, make sure that you have a, a good amount hanging on the, the front end so that the uh, Skyron can move around easily, and then just use the Velcro as such to hold the wires in place. I'll put a uh, a second one back here. Okay. Loop the wire over the shoulder and again let it have room for play. Take another Velcro piece. Run it around the arm. And then a final piece down here. And this way, we've created the ability to uh, move the arm freely, including the stylus uh, rotation. And the wires will stay all the way without doing anything permanent uh, to the arm itself. Now we're going to look at the cabling attachments uh, to the arm. When using a Skyron laser, you do not use a hand or a foot switch. There are two connections on the end of the laser. One is an adapter uh, port to connect the proper firewire cable, and the other is the accessory port. And it's through this that the Skyron gets uh, some of its power and uh, also acts as your, your, your button. So plug this end of the Skyron into your accessory port. Okay. And then you can plug 
USB in as normal, and uh, the power in as normal. So now you have to choose which firewire uh, cable to use. Uh, one is a, um, a firewire 400 style cable, and the other is a smaller firewire 800 style cable. Uh, my device happens to use the 800 style cable. So I will take the adapter end and connect it to the adapter on the Skyron cable itself and tighten that. Now we're ready to connect this to the computer. Connecting your Skyron laser to your computer requires four ports. Three USB ports and the firewire. We've got a USB dongle for the Skyron laser itself, another dongle for the scan tool software, your USB connection to the microscribe, and the firewire connection to the Skyron laser. Because so many USB ports are being used, I like to use a port replicator to do that connection. And so I'll go ahead and place the keys and my USB uh, microscribe connection on the port. And then I can attach that to the computer. And then my firewire for this particular laptop is actually on the other side. The next step to setting up your Skyron laser is to calibrate it with your microscribe. That will be covered in a following video.